Greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. So, I thought I'd share a recording of a baptismal cake I created a couple of months back. At this stage, as you can see, I have already baked my cake, tortured them into layers, and I am at this point filling them with buttercream and stacking them. I am now inserting dowels into the center of my cake after four layers and then a card on top before proceeding with the remaining layers of the cake. This is to ensure stability and sturdiness in my cake because my cake is 8 inches tall and 9 inches round, so it's a large cake. I have now then proceeded to crumb coat my cake. This is to keep the crumbs intact so that when I'm doing proper decoration, there will be no crumbs in between my buttercream. Uh, as soon as I finished that, I placed it in the fridge for a few minutes, then brought it out to now apply my main decorative buttercream. I have colored uh, two portions of dark buttercream into light pink and light grey. As you can see, I am applying the light pink at the top and bottom of my cake, leaving a small gap in the center to now in which, in which I now apply the grey buttercream. I have now proceeded to smoothen out my cake with using my offset spatula and also my metal scraper to ensure smooth size and top of my cake. I placed my cake in the fridge for a few for a couple of uh, about 30 minutes, then brought it out to scrape the top to to give a fine cut at the top. I have now proceeded to pipe in gray dots around the pink portions of my cake giving strategic spaces and then uh, piping pink dots around the pink uh, on the uh, gray section of my cake as you can see in this video by the way my cake uh, my cake's flavors were delicious layers of vanilla and strawberry i've now finished the piping i've now proceeded to uh, to piping more um more uh, designs or rosettes on top of my cake and you can see i'm just checking out my cake to make sure that everything is as i want it to be i'm now cut out using fondant across this is a baptismal cake as i stated earlier so i've cut out fondant um cross which i now place it at the center sorry the front center of my cake which i have positioned as a front i have previously um put together a few artificial pink, white, and gray uh, flowers, which I used my floral tape to put together. I am I have not inserted those bunch that bunch of artificial flowers, and then applied a bit more piping stars or designs on the top. Then proceeded again to apply another gray artificial flower at the bottom. Of my bottom of my cake, and then proceeded to pipe in more rosettes or stars, just to you know, not don't have anything any specific design in mind, just applying it as best as I see it, and then I've now proceeded to coloring with my cross with a mixture of gold dust and clear alcohol, that is um vodka. I created that into a paste. And use that, and now using that to paint the cross into a very sparkly gold. Just now, I'm just praying gold dust, shiny gold dust on my cake, and that's my cake done and finished. The last stage and uh, the last bit was just to insert the um, topper, which is the name of the baptism the girl that is doing baptism, that is Ariana. And that's my cake done. I hope you like it. Drop a comment. Leave your thoughts, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye for now. Take care.